All right, back again. It was uh, about 29 degrees this morning, thereabouts. Maybe a little bit lower by the uh, my radar uh, designations, but out on my back porch it was reading about 29, and we had a, a pretty healthy gr a breeze this morning because I had to step out for a moment and. Uh, take care of something so and <laughs> it cuts deep let me tell you so and I'm sure wherever you guys are is probably just about as bad if not worse so here is our first let's get this over here out of the way so we can get these up here spread out these are my first castings out of the mold these this in here is my second castings um, my vent stems and these these still here still need to be cleaned up uh, here's my alto paddle low bass paddle treble paddle normal paddle what was this first one bass and here is my voice paddle it's it is cleaned up the stem, vent stems are taken off of it and uh, all the little roughing flashing and stuff around it here has been shaved off and filed down and sanded to a certain degree now it does look rough at least on the hind end the only thing that really is important is and what you see is just the paddle part that's all it shows when it's in the chunky here let's see let's put that in there we'll try to bring it up close as possible that is all you see in there it's still I still need to hit it with a buffing uh, wheel to, to to smooth it out to better but I'll tell you the the other mold that I had of this, I'd, I'd have missing corners here where air bubbles would pocket. And, uh, and it, it was just extremely rough. There would, be, there would be no way, maybe one out of the six might be savable, uh, usable. A, after you reworked it a little bit uh, but essentially they were mostly crap missing corners you know was, it was just it was horrendous so let's see here's voice here's the original one here's the new one or should I say the reproduced one Hopefully, I'm getting all the shots that you need. Uh, I still need to punch the hole. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the other hole that's not used solid. I'm gonna drill the hole that is going to be used for this particular button. And it looks like this one right out here on the edge. So this one here is gonna get drilled and riveted. Or eyelid it did it did it, 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 it and then I gotta shoot the hole through that uh, once I get the locations I pretty much got them cast into there so uh, I can drill right through that 
and it'd be pretty reliably close. So there are those. This one, these old ones here, you can see they're discolored real bad. I don't know what that's from. It might be age, it might be exposure to, uh, to moisture or heat. Uh, I'm not sure, but this one, they, they will break if you put any stress on them. They will break off. Uh, one, one of these, I, I'm going to go through with some JB Bell, JB Bell, JB Weld, and shore up and emboss, put a boss around all of this, these ears here, so that uh, there's no chance of it coming apart. And there's quite a few. There's quite a few like that here uh, that's got that nasty looking thing. If you put any stresses on it, it will break. I, I've, already, I've already kind of pushed one to the limit and uh, it, didn't, it didn't break off, but it's, it's fractured on one side, on one side of it. Uh, this one here has probably got a little bit more strength than the other ones do. Uh, so, um, let's see. Um, okay, yeah. That one there. Now, I got the buttons done. Now, <coughs> These here came out much better also. Um, and um, I'll have to show you the mold in the next uh, thing when we get get to that point. Um, I'm doing up quite a, a lot of castings right now because I'm not, since I, since I restocked my resins, and uh, got and received them. I'm not really sure how long they've been sitting on the shelf, but they hadn't been opened, so they would last a little bit longer time, depending on if they're kept at room temperature or they've been exposed to heat or extreme cold. So I'm, I'm not. I'm going to use up as much as I can with hold a little reserve, so that. So that uh, I have, it doesn't all go to waste because if you open it and then you do your casting, let's say, of these, and you don't use it for a month, you're liable to come back to a one or the other part A or part B that is going to be bad. It's going to, because it wants to separate, and when it separates, the um, the solid from the from the resin uh, it'll it'll harden up and you won't be able to mix it and that's what happened with the last batch that I had so now that I've got that let's get this over here uh, I'm gonna try to extract some of these out of here the best of my ability and well, what it will allow yeah let's get this there we go cracked loose this here I did uh, yesterday late well evening yesterday yesterday late afternoon and uh, and uh, it's supposed to be a 30 minute cure and I left it I left it I took the top off of it 
and let it set to get up because uh, the the tails on this will still be flexible I mean you'll be able to bend it and I just wanted to make sure that if I stressed it any it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't do any serious warping of it so now that I've got pretty much all of that pretty much set up we will try to extract this out hopefully you can see that flashing all around here and the vent stems and uh, this one here a little better shape than the other one was let's get those over there let's take this one here that there's the voice now uh, I did I think the reason why I got better quality out of this here than the previous mold was uh, the, the other silicone was tin, tin cured it, it's a tin cure T-I-N cure this here is a platinum cure so we've got a little bit better strength and uh, you'll get a lot more castings out of that it costs a little more but you'll get a you'll get a better casting out of it and uh, if you need smooth faces on the finish portion of the thing you'll get a nice bright shiny smooth whereas you you probably won't with the uh, with the tin cured silicone Alto Let's get this flash off of here Okay There we go Base low base this uh, pivot stem here that the pivot rod goes through once it's once it's drilled I'm going to put me a, a a piece of piece of shaft through that and then I'm going to shore up around it to finish it off with some JB since it's all going to be hidden up and everything that'll make it that'll make it um, hold up better uh, under stress this is the low bass so there you are good investment for this uh, stuff it's cost a little more but it'll be worth the uh, it'll be worth the money if you want if you need to get good quality. This here was done with the uh, inexpensive ten cured, and uh, <coughs> it's a one piece mold. Or uh, no, it's a two piece because I needed to get I needed to have these um, these um, 
holes in the button because it's got to it's got to be on a, a flat shaft uh, so I had to do that and I'll show you I'll show you this uh, this mold <clears throat> as soon as I can get it so hang on there'll be more okay here is my mold for these buttons here uh, these toothpicks or pig stickers that are in here I had to adapt my cap um, part of the mold uh, to incorporate these because what I use to make the slots in the button is uh, some um, some Lexan it's about the same thickness as the as the uh, push button shafts are I had to shave it a little bit in order to get the same the proper size as as far as fitment um, and then I had to put holes and because the silicone rubber alone won't be enough to hold <coughs> those Let's see if I can get this apart you have to goop them up pretty good with some KY jelly or or uh, Vaseline petroleum jelly to keep them keep them from sticking because if you if you go ahead and you don't use any mold release on it uh, it'll stick so uh, that's the purpose of these things is to hang on to that that plastic piece and if I can get these apart here I'll show you what I am talking about you have to wiggle it and jiggle it and Give it some time to kind of let it go. Because first time I did it, I didn't put anything in there. And uh, when I went to, I, I did put the hole in the thing and allow the silicone rubber to flow through it. But there's, it gets, it has such a grip. The resin has such a, a grip on those, on, on those plastic pieces that it just pulled it right loose from the silicone and I had to rework it that's the reason why these are cut into there so that I could put those through the uh, through the uh, plastic pieces here we go now we're, we're getting there we're getting there come on baby there she goes. She's giving loose better now. There we go. Come on. Let's, uh, put this in there so that the whole, uh, there we go, the whole button wants to come out with the thing. There we go, there we go. Now, there's what I'm talking about. I have that I had a piece of Lexan that I, that I got and I shaped it for use to make the shaft holes in the uh, in the back side of the chunkies here and
get this to let go. Now you can you can use your tin cure on these that are pretty much, but anything that's got any kind of shape to it, I'll, a multi-dimensional shape to it, you you should use you should use the the platinum cured ones because it'll hold up better and if you had to do it with with this tin cured stuff uh, it will degrade quickly there we go so now we've got two sets of buttons here I got I ordered a full set of buttons from the um, from the uh, Renovated Radio's website, but they only shipped two. I guess they only had two available. They don't indicate that any is on back order, and I, they don't indicate whether or not they're ever going to have any more of those. But. Uh, <clears throat> I got some that'll work so we'll probably go ahead and default to these and um, and that way um, I'll have a full set now I am casting uh, the knobs I got the on off volume knob, the tuning knob, and the band switch knob curing up right now uh, in their molds. And um, I think what I'm going to do is before that, the rest of my tin cured stuff goes south. I'm going to make me some fresh molds for, for those because they're you can get those easily enough through renovated radios um, because you can get the whole set in one shot I think it's $35 from their website uh, plus shipping um, <coughs> but you can't get you can't get these anywhere unless you buy a radio that has them on it and you you buy a radio that has them on it well, you're still going to have a radio that doesn't have them <laughs> uh, or at least broken ones so I'm going to play around with these I got two done I'm going to try up some more before my a smooth cast 380 goes south for the winter <laughs> so my last batch went went south on me and and I didn't uh, get a great deal of castings done on it because one reason or another I guess busy so um, thanks for watching hope you got something out of this let me know what you think of those paddle switches handles and um, We'll try to get out here and get some stuff done on the chassis. So, uh, see you later.